Kathy Hawley says she felt grateful as the judge entered a $100 million judgment. Hawley's brother, Steve Constantine, was nearly killed by 11 pit bulls owned by one of the defendants. She said what is true, that no amount of money is ever going to give this poor man back the use of his limbs or restore him to who he was before this happened. Two limbs were amputated. The remaining two were severely damaged. One ear is missing. Last December, Constantine told us what happened after the dogs attacked him near his friend's house. Kind of recalled trying to get to my feet, telling myself if I don't get up and try and get out of here, they're going to not stop until I'm gone. And I think I remember standing to my feet and then being dragged back down. They probably had me by my clothes and stuff. The defendants are Derek Felton and his mother, Elizabeth Felton. No one answered the door at the defendant's house, just as no one answered the civil suit. That's why this is a default judgment. Whether we're able to collect this in terms of money is to be seen, but it's unlikely. But attorney Mark Bernstein says the ruling sends an important message. We have responsibility to, our, to each other that these animals need to be trained and treated properly. For most of his recovery, Constantine's positive outlook has been remarkable. But Hawley says he recently suffered a setback. He is in a psychiatric unit. Trying to hang in there, but uh, you know, some recent events I think started to chip away at his emotional state. He's getting over that problem, and with his prosthetic leg, he's been able to walk as far as half a city block, but his life will never be the same. I'll never get over what happened to my brother, but I can only hope that this doesn't ever happen to anybody else. This is the spot where Steve Constantine was attacked. He doesn't expect to get any of the $100 million granted by Judge Daphne Means Curtis. He's already had 22 surgeries, and he faces more. In Detroit, I'm Roger Weber, Local 4.